Jesus Murphy, I got up at like 1 o'clock today. Hey guys, how the frig's it going? Welcome to another episode of Vlogging Life. But I got up at like 1 o'clock this afternoon. And uh, I expected to have to go out and shovel the driveway because uh, there's a winter storm warning in effect. But judging by the roads out there, they're looking pretty clear. So we're good to go. Uh, I know London, Ontario right now is getting bombarded with snow. I just talked to Where's Bobby. And he said they're getting dumped on. So welcome to Canada where spring never shows up. Literally we have, well some people call it sprinter. Where it's a spring winter. So we have like sprinter, summer, uh, uh, and then flinter, which is fall winter. Like we get like maybe a couple days of fall and then the snow shows up, right? Except for this past year. Fall never showed up. Well fall showed up and hung out till after Christmas. We never really got any snow until almost New Year's. Which is kind of cool, but um, you want to go outside? Did you hear that gallop? Holy, he has things. Okay, you got to stay on the ground if you want me to leash you up. You probably don't want to get leashed up, but that's the way she goes because you run off and you go poop in the neighbor's yard. There you go. So, people on the internet are calling the current season sprinter, which is a combination of spring winter, because it'll be like like this. Then all of a sudden a week will go by and this will all be green and I'll be out there mowing the lawn. But back in 2000... Hey Oreo, don't bark. Just go potty. Freaking dog. But um, back in May 2010 for the May long weekend, uh, it was like the week before I was heading out to David's farm, I did a video of uh, mowing the backyard with the push mower. And I basically gave her on that, and then like two days later, it snowed. And as a joke, I was going to snow blow the driveway. <laughs> you know, just uploaded a video of me mowing the lawn, now I'm snow blowing the driveway. And I think that's what actually hurt my lawn, because I cut the grass really short. And then it snowed, and the ground froze, and I'm pretty sure I shocked the roots on the grass. Maybe that's the thing, I don't know. But, uh, yeah, I got up and hopped on friggin' TeamSpeak with the boys, and... It's amazing how uh, quickly you can kill time chatting with your friends. Like, it's almost 7 o'clock now. So, from 2 till... I spent 5 hours on... Well, 4 and a half hours on uh, TeamSpeak just chatting with my friends. And figuring out what's going on tonight and stuff. Because we're going to be doing a European or American truck simulator tonight. Yes, on Twitch. I know a lot of you don't like it, but it is what it is. I kind of want to save the YouTube stuff for these kind of videos, talking to a camera. But I was thinking about doing a video, and I don't know if you guys care about this. It'll probably go up on the tech channel on how to configure your Twitch. Uh, because a lot of people were wondering that, like, how do you get all the overlays and all that shit. So I was thinking about doing tutorials on it and putting it on the tech channel for people to see. Gonna go poop? He's trying to balance himself, and there's like snow mountains, although it's not leveled out there or anything. I shoveled a path from the garage to the house, and a path from the house to the driveway, and, you know, shovels. You can't really, well, I didn't really level it that well. You probably could if you took your time doing it, but I was just using a scooper shovel and tossing the snow. So he's trying to balance himself out there on little snow hills. <laughs> you can't do it. Come on, buddy. Come on. Here's a puppy. Here's a puppy. Bye. He gone. So, I really didn't have anything planned for today. Um, no idea what the vlog about. Just kind of chilling. Thinking for dinner tonight. I'm going to rock me one of these Swansons. I already have my bacon and eggs, or my eggs and toast, I should say, for breakfast. So we're going to cook up one of these uh, Salisbury steaks, which are probably pretty disgusting. Um... 480 calories, 24 grams of fat, sweet Jesus Murphy. Oh, and there's trans in here. Nice. That was a joke. That was, that was a joke. 60 milligrams of cholesterol, because I totally need cholesterol. 760 milligrams of sodium, 32% of your daily intake right there. Uh, 42 grams of carbs and 23 grams of proteins. Okay, so if we nuke this, it's on high for six minutes. Let's stand for one minute, stir potatoes before serving. Okay, all right, I'm gonna get this thing going. Oh yeah, this reminds me of back in the day. Oh, time to check to see how many people out there are as old as me. 
But uh, do you guys remember back in the day before microwaves were a thing? They actually had TV dinners that came in a tin foil like serving tray, kind of like that cardboard plasticky one that's currently in the microwave. But uh, we didn't have microwaves back then, right? So you had to oven cook your TV dinners. Well, you guys remember those? You had your like, whatever, your Salisbury steak, your potatoes, your corn, and they didn't give you a dessert. It was kind of like a, a three-tiered tray. So you had like your meat in the center tray and like some cooked potatoes up here and some corn over here and stuff. Man, those were awesome back in the day. But you had to oven cook them for obvious reasons because they were made out of tin foil. And I don't think microwaves were invented back then. Mom used to buy those every Friday night, TV dinner night. I freaking love TV dinner night. I thought those were delicious, but they were a lot cheaper. Well, I guess the price of them back then was the price of what I paid for these ones. Because sometimes you get these Swanson dinners and they're like five bucks a pop. That's no good. That's expensive as free. Five bucks for some dirty old processed food with a lot of fat and salt in them, eh? I don't know, I used to like buying these when I worked at Ontera because you bring them to work and when it came to supper time, you know, you just drill them in the microwave, go outside for your dart or whatever, e-dart, have a dart while you're waiting for it to cook, come back in, grab it, and then uh, bon appetit, you know, time to eat. Yeah, but right now I'm just waiting for that to cook up so I can get some noms in my guts. Then I gotta head upstairs and configure Twitch on the other computer because I forgot we're playing Euro truck tonight and I do that on the other computer and the other computer has nothing set up for the Twitch stream. So I gotta do that, fun stuff, and go from there. Exciting. So I read the comments on today's video. Really enjoying the positive comments about last night's stream. It's freaking awesome. This, you know, most people liked it. Some people had problems, but like I said before, we got a lot of bugs to work out, a lot of things to get set up, a lot of shit to get did. And uh, everything's a learning process. Everything's a learning process when you're stepping into a new location. Like YouTube, easy to stream. Twitch, easier to stream, but a lot more configurations and a lot more things that can go wrong. So you really gotta, you know, figure shit out. And I'm just hoping people understand that, uh, you know, last night's stream, it, it went good, but there was something like I was sending way too much data to Twitch. Apparently for a 720p stream, you're only supposed to send like maybe 1.5 to 2 megs tops. I was drilling 6 megs a second to it. Which was the reason why some people were experiencing laggy situations. I tried to correct it, but I don't think I did it right. And once we hit over 50, uh, 50 viewers, the quality control showed up. So you could actually set the stream to medium or low or high bandwidth or source bandwidth. And that worked out pretty good. I wish Twitch had that setting on all the time. That's one thing I don't like about Twitch is it's like a video game. Once you get X amount of people watching, they unlock features, unlock features. It's like you're playing Super Mario Brothers trying to get the friggin' mushroom to get bigger, but you can't do that until you get 20 coins. You know, like it's, that's not how it works, obviously. But I'm just using that as an example. It's kind of ridiculous, but I'm sure we'll get this all sorted out over time. Now that I figured out how it works, tonight's stream should be a lot better. And my TV dinner is ready. I'm still call even though it's a Swanson dinner, I'm still calling it a TV dinner and I'm gonna need two hands to grab this so I gotta put you guys down. You know what? I was gonna say that looks like prison food, but prison food's probably more appetizing. Anyway, I'm gonna go drink my coffee, eat this, get working on the Twitch stream, and maybe I might show you guys some stuff while I'm working on it. So Talk to you guys in a bit. Oh, we just got done a great American Truck Simulator stream and it was brought to my attention. I read about, actually I didn't read about this. I heard about this from Drama Alert and then I heard about it from YouTube uh, people on uh, Twitch tonight and uh, a YouTuber that I watch, Mr. McJugger Nuggets. Okay, a little while ago, he drops a stream, or drops a stream, got done streaming, that's still in my mind. Anyway, uh, he drops a, um, a video where he's working at a, um, an ice cream place, okay? Looking, doing his part-time job hunt. One second, I gotta look at the dog up and I can't get his collar. So he drops this video. Remember I was talking about Hollywood is Frig and how, not Hollywood is Frig, I was talking about how I don't wanna mention where I work ever again because people call my work and how McJuggernuggets dropped the video where he was flipping out about the camera and, and so on and so forth because people called the ice cream place on him and gave him shit. Well, I found out there was more behind that story. 
See, people did call the ice cream place, but they didn't really call the ice cream place. Some people called the ice cream place to bitch about them. Other people called the health board. See, in this video with McJugger Nuggets, the stupid dumb shit goes and wraps his lips around the friggin' ice cream dispenser, pulls the lever, gets a bunch of... And this video has gone off his channel. He removed it for that reason because he's getting in big shit, like lawsuit shit. He basically drinks fucking ice cream right out of the machine. Now, in the past Jesse videos, McJuggernugget videos, he talked about having mono when he did, uh, I think it was last summer, uh, him, his Uncle Larry, uh, his parents, and his cousin go to North Carolina? Yeah, North Carolina. And they go to some cabin thing for vacation. And all of a sudden, Jesse's sick as fuck. Goes to a doctor, finds out he's got mono. That's where the whole spleen thing started, with the mono and all that shit. So, he goes there, and, you know, they're, um, he gets home, gets diagnosed, the doctor explains mono to him. Come on, dude. Well, go poop and don't eat your poop, stupid dog. Fucking dog's eating his shit again. Shit-eating puppy. Anyway, so he gets diagnosed with mono. Now, the thing with mono is, is once you have it, you have it for life. It's yours for life. It can flare up at any given times. So you can't cure mono. You can manage it, but you can't cure it. Anyway, so he goes to this ice cream place for a job. And, like, they had, like, this peanut butter topping for ice cream in a bottle. He's, like, straight shot hooping that in his mouth. He's sucking on the ice cream dispenser, hooping that in his mouth. And he's also, like, and he puts this all on fucking YouTube. Well, you got 2.5 million people watching you. A lot of these people are going to be concerned about the general public because everybody who had that kind of ice cream after he was done, if his mono is real, if that's not just some bullshit he made up for content on YouTube, all these people are at risk now because he wrapped his saliva-covered lips around that thing, around the uh, dispenser and sucked off some ice cream. You see the problem here. So congratulations, you just spread it a friggin' disease to God knows how many patrons over at that ice cream parlor. The news is, is apparently, the, uh, apparently the guy from Drama Alert found the number for the ice cream parlor and called them up and asked what was going on. And she flat out said she doesn't want to talk much about it, but yes, there is an investigation with... Uh, Jesse Ridgway. Could that be part of a YouTube thing that they're setting up? Maybe he paid her off? I don't know. But it seems that there's a lawsuit involved here and the health board got involved in all that. Now, once again, this comes back to the whole YouTube thing and like the video I made a couple days ago about Hollywood as Frig. People get so famous on YouTube or on Twitch, they forget that there's rules. There's things you gotta do. The rules apply to everybody. You know, John Travolta, Samuel L. Jackson, the burger flipper at McDonald's. They all have those same laws in order. The only difference between burger flipper at McDonald's, Samuel L. Jackson, and John Travolta is Samuel L. Jackson and John Travolta, they got money to buy good lawyers. Burger flipper at McDonald's, he's going on that free public defender. Not really good. This is the reason why they have rules and you got to follow the rules. You know, that's the reason why I don't bust out my camera in Walmart and stuff. This is the reason why, like, well, I don't do illegal as frig things, but if I did, I would not bring the camera. I know better. He was bitching saying the camera ruined my life, like on that video where he was bitching about bringing the camera to the pizza place. He probably didn't go to the pizza place. He probably had to go see legal advice that day. And who knows? If everything is true, and he is actually being sued, this might actually happen with Jesse, where he needs to find a job, like a real job, and actually work, because the whole YouTube thing is no longer a thing. I could very well see this happening. Drama Alert dropped a video about it. I'm, I'm gonna go and try and find some documents online about it, see if I can find anything to prove it, and we're gonna go from there, but, yeah. But anyway, I don't know how long today's vlog is, probably not long enough. But all I gotta say to all my YouTubers out there who actually create content, watch what you film, because you could be making incriminating evidence against yourself. I think I pooped my pants. Ooh, so on that note, I'm shutting her down. Thanks for watching, people. Like, favorite, and comment. One of these days, I gotta get out there and start working on stuff. I'm just waiting for winter to quit. When it does, cool. But anyway, I'm shutting her down. Thanks for watching. Like, favorite, and comment. I gotta poop. So until next time, people, keep on vlogging.